morning students so in this video we will discuss our chapter 9 that is body movement so these are the topics that we are going to discuss in this chapter movement and locomotion movement in animals movement in human being so at first let us know what is movement you see movement occurs when some part of our body moves or our body move as a whole okay then we will say it is a movement now it is a significant characteristic of a living thing okay we say that when we differentiate a living thing from a non living thing we say we say that a living thing can move okay now you may be thinking that plant is a living thing but it cannot move that is wrong okay plant also move okay some parts of plant like roots they move downward and flowers they move toward the sun okay plant also shows some kind of movement now let us discuss about locomotion what is locomotion you see locomotion occurs when a object move from one place to another as a whole suppose i am standing here okay and i have to move from one point to another then only locomotion will occur okay now now we will discuss about needs of locomotion why locomotion is needed see locomotion is needed in animal to move from one place to another in search of food shelters okay and the second one is to now the next one is it enable them to move from unfavorable condition to favorable condition now what happen there is a forest fire okay then if they were not able to locomote what would have happened hmm they would have died there is not it so they move from unfavorable condition to favorable condition by locomoting now the third one is to escape from their enemies now a deer okay a deer is grazing in a field and a lion comes okay if the deer is not able to run what will happen the lion will eat the deer is not it so it enable them to escape from their enemies now we will discuss about different modes of locomotion what are the different modes of locomotion now you see we human we move from one place to another how we move by walking running jumping skipping is not it now you see this modes of locomotion are different in different animals now for fish how they move from one place to another they move from one place to another by swimming is not it now in birds how they move from one place to another they fly is not it so the modes of locomotion differs in different organisms okay now we will discuss about movement in earthworm okay now we have a new sip the body of earthworm it is made up of muscle which is able to contract and expand okay now you see they have a small vessel like structure called setae okay so when they have to move what happen they will contract okay they will contract and they will expand they will contract and they will expand in this way movement takes place in an earthworm now the next one we will see movement in snail now you see what happened we all know that the snail have a protective layer over their body or shell okay and they have a muscular foot with the help of which they move from one place to another okay now you see the muscular foot of this snail secretes some sleepy some slippery substance called mucus and what is the function of that mucus you know it reduces the friction between the body and the ground and help the snail to move forward easily okay so now we will discuss about movement in fish how fish moves okay now you see the fish have a streamlined body streamlined means what happen the front part and the end part okay are narrower okay means smaller in size and the middle part is broader in size this type of structure is called what streamline okay now what happen you see they have fine scale over their body is not it you may have seen this scales have a layer of oil okay which allows the water to pass from the body surface of this fish okay now they have pair of fin okay and this fins help them to change 
the direction. Okay, while swimming, the fins have done to change the direction. Okay, and they have what? Swim bladder. Inside their body, they have swim bladder which is filled with air. Okay, and it helps them to float in the water. Now you see how they move forward. This caudal fin. Okay, what happened? It moves. Okay, side to side like this. Okay, and when it moves side to side like this, what happened? It created force. Okay, which propel the fish to move forward. Understood? So in this way, what happened? Fish moves from one place to another place. Okay, that is this type of locomotion is called what? Swimming. Okay. Now we will discuss about movement in birds. How birds move? So bird moves from one place to another by flying. It's not it. We have seen they have wings with the help of which they fly. It's not it. And wings are covered with feathers. It's not it. Now you see. Other than that, what happened? They have very light skeleton, which help them to fly high. Okay. See, uh, some birds like ostrich and penguin. What happened? Their body weight is too much. Because of that, only they cannot fly. It's not it. So to reduce the weight, what happened? Their skeleton is very light. Okay, which enable them to fly high. Now what happened? You see, they have a breast bone. Okay, which is very strong. It holds the muscle of the wings. Okay, they are connected together. So what happened when they flap the wing? Okay, and the wing is flapped with the help of muscle. Okay, which is embedded in the breast bone. Okay, that breast bone is very strong in birds. Okay, so when they flap their wings, it creates a force which helps them to fly more high. Okay. You can see the structure. The body is also designed as a streamlined structure. Now we will discuss about movement in snakes. How snake moves. Now you see what happens. Snakes have a long, slender body. It's not it. And they have key skeleton. Okay, it is somewhat like this. And what happens? Muscles are connected to this skeleton. Okay, which help them to move. Freely, understood. Now, what happened? They have a layer of scale over their body, which help them to move fast. You have seen maybe snakes move by crawling in between their bellies. It's not it. They always move like this. They form a loop. When they have to move faster, what happened? They will form a loop like this. You may have seen when they see too much of human. Okay, this will try to move fast, and they move fast by forming a loop-like structure. Okay. Each loop push them forward. As a result, they move. And this type of movement is termed as what? Slithering. Okay. So now we will discuss about movement in cockroach. How movement in cockroach takes place. Now you see the body of cockroach is made up of cuticles. Okay. These are very hard layer. Now they have three pair of legs which help them to walk. Yeah.